So, you have a strategy for us to beat Avatar at the box office? Yes, sir, I do. Fantastic. Did you know that James Cameron re-released Avatar and just slapped some new footage on there? I mean, what a cheap move. A very cheap move, sir. Man, it must have been hard to find a way to compete with that. Actually, it was super easy. Barely an inconvenience. Oh, really? Yeah, see, I was thinking we could re-release Endgame, right? But we could, uh, you know, slap some new content onto it. Well, that's a smart move. A very smart move, sir. Well, I'm on board. If we don't beat Avatar at the box office, I owe James Cameron 20. 20 dollars? Interns. Oh my god. Yeah, once you reach a certain level of wealth, it's not exciting to bet with money anymore. Plus, they say that man is the most dangerous game, so it's quite a thrill. Is James Cameron gonna hunt your interns? Not if we have anything to say about it. So how much content can we actually add on? Well, by my count, we could slap another six minutes onto this bad boy. Oh, slapping things onto bad boys is tight. What? 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 Oh, I don't even know what I meant by that, to be honest. Oh, okay. I feel very uncomfortable. Anyway, I was thinking we could get one of the directors to film an intro as some of the bonus content. An intro, huh? What's it gonna be? He's gonna introduce the movie. Oh, that's good. That way people know that they're at the movies. Exactly. People might be disoriented because they turn the lights off after the trailers. It's like a safety feature. I love it. That's right. Plus, he can tell the audience they should stick around after the credits for some bonus content. Isn't the bonus content the reason people are gonna go to the theater in the first place? It is. And some of the bonus content is a guy telling you that there's gonna be bonus content? Correct. Well, okay then. So what's gonna come after the credits? Well, we could put a half-finished scene of Hulk saving some kids. Oh, is that like a teaser for something? No, it's just a deleted thing. Oh. Yeah, it doesn't affect anything in any way. Feels like it might be a little disappointing. We could also put a little sneak peek from Spider-Man Far From Home. I mean, by the time we get this re-release ready to go, isn't that gonna be coming out, like, the week after? It will. And you think people are gonna pay us money to see a tiny little bit of a movie they're gonna come pay us money to see the next week? Maybe. Wow, well, fingers crossed that people are very, you know, irresponsible with their money. Another thing we could have is, like, a little Stan Lee tribute. Oh, lure them in with sadness. I like the way you think. Oh, that's not how I saw it. That sounds evil. We're gonna make a ton of extra money off of their sadness. Okay. So that's it? That's that's the bonus stuff? Pretty much, yeah. I don't really know if that's enough to get a buzz going online. I think it will. I mean, those movie YouTube channels are definitely gonna try to squeeze a couple more Endgame videos out of it. Do you really think they'd make new Endgame videos just because of a re-release? Oh man, I wouldn't put it past them. They'll take any excuse to make new Marvel videos. Uh, why, why are you guys looking at me like that? Can I help you? No, I was, I was just gonna clean a little. You're gonna clean out your desk if you don't leave this private meeting. I don't have a desk. Oh, please get out of here, though. Okay, I'm just gonna get out of here. Wow, that guy had a weird, weird face. He sure did. I'm definitely sending that intern over to Cameron, even if we do beat Avatar. I think that was a janitor. I call those dirt interns. Oh, okay. So listen, this all sounds good, but I think we need to entice people a little more to go to the theaters, you know? They've already seen this movie. We could offer them a gift, like a limited edition gift. That sounds like it might be expensive. Not if we go with the least expensive gift imaginable. What, like a, like a, like a piece of paper? That could work. Yeah, let's go with that. Hey guys, it's Ryan here. Hope you like that pitch meeting. There are over a hundred pitch meetings on the channel, so check some of those out. You can also let me know in the comment section what other movies you'd like to see pitch meetings for. Don't forget to like and subscribe and share on Twitter, Facebook, uh, all, all the stuff that helps out a lot. As always, check back soon for a new pitch. Bye-bye.